Right guys, so this is take two of this video. I've attempted to do a TikTok cleaning hacks video before on my channel and I kind of found it a bit of a disaster if I'm honest. So this time around I've decided to pick a few sort of simpler, I say simpler ones, but just sort of more realistic ones I suppose. Uh, that could be done quickly, especially now obviously I have a baby so I need to find some quick cleaning hacks. I turned to TikTok and they did not disappoint. There are a few new ones that I never heard of or never seen that would be really valuable if they do work. So I'm really excited to test them out. Sorry, excuse the little gremlin running around. I have a few, I think I have six in total that I want to test out in today's video and hopefully we'll find some new hacks that we can use you know on a daily or a weekly basis so i'm going to start off with the cat fur one which i will pop up on the screen this one i feel like should have been so obvious but yet wasn't so so she has a yellow glove and she is just basically wiping her hand along the sofa and it's collecting the cat fur and we basically have a great cat as well and grey sofas and it is disgusting the amount of cat fur that gets on everything so i have my Let's test it. Right, so we're just going to give a rub and see what comes off. <gasps> oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. Yeah, look. Okay, I like this. Okay, I definitely say this works. So another place that our house is full of cat fur is our blinds. And I just want to test to see if this will work on blinds as well. Right guys, so I think it was a resounding success with that glove hack. Absolutely love it. I'm going to do all of my sofas in it. In fact, a lot of my furniture needs to be done on it, so I'm definitely going to give that a good going over when I finish this video. But before I do that, hello. Sorry, Magoo was having a bit of a moment, so. Oh, clearly still is, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I want to go on to. <laughs> I want to go on to hack number two. So this hack, again, I'll pop up the video on the screen that I saw. And I've seen a few different ones of these, but essentially it's the same thing. So you need a washing tablet, so like a clothes washing tablet, put it into some water. I assume boiling water, I can see they've used a kettle. Um, and then dipping a tea towel into it before wrapping the tea towel on it, wrapping the tea towel around a pot lid, and then sort of maneuvering it on your sofa to make it clean. So I assume it kind of acts like a steam cleaner. I don't have high hopes for this one, if I'm honest, but where my partner Brent sits on our sofas in the front room, it's noticeably darker. Yeah, I've not given out about your daddy, I'm just explaining. Um, so I do kind of want to test it out. There's only a small bit of the sofa that I need to test out on. Anyway, so I don't mind if it doesn't work, but when I saw this, I was intrigued and I had to give it a go. Ooh, that's what this last one. Okay, so I found an old Christmas towel, but it's it's light, so I'm gonna dump it in now. It's actually, I don't know about you guys, but this feels so wrong to dump, like, dry clothes into water. <laughs> I suppose I don't soak clothes that often, and this is just what people do, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna let it absorb for a bit, especially because it's boiling hot. And then I have my lid as well. Uh, I have other lids. I have other lids but this is one with one of those sort of tops where I can tie the towel through it. So I thought that was probably the best one. Although it's a deep one so I don't know if that'll work. I don't know what the purpose of the lid is in this hack. So we're going to try it with this one. But if it doesn't work we could potentially put it down to the fact that it's the lid. This is the part of the sofa in question. I don't know if you can really tell the colour different. You can definitely see it in person anyways. This is the one we're going to attempt to clean, especially that armrest there. That is horrific. Right people, I have it. I've just tied it on top. Ow, it's really slippery. <laughs> coming off. I'd say it has to be flat. Hang on, let me change the lid. Okay, so take two. I have changed lid and I've left the towel a lot wetter. It is actually dripping. 
Actually, I don't think you're supposed to go against fabric green. Okay, so we'll have to wait for the sofa now to dry to see if that one really worked. Although, to be honest, I can't see it working too well. I can think of a few other better methods and products to use to clean sofas and fabric. There's a lot of steps to this one and I there's a lot of like elbow grease that you're going to need to put into it. You're going to really have to scrub it if it's going to make any sort of a difference. So I don't have high hopes for that one. But we'll wait for it to dry and we'll see. If nothing else, it might just make it smell really nice, which I'm not opposed to. But yeah, so on to cleaning hack number three. So this one's gonna be quite simple and easy to test out. And I am excited because this one involves just some baby oil and a microfiber cloth. And basically, this is for stainless steel objects. So it's supposed to buffer them to keep them shiny. And we have a huge stainless steel fridge. And then there's parts small part of our oven as well that are also stainless steel. Or oh, actually our chairs for our kitchen island are stainless steel. There's just a few bits. Yeah, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so this behind me obviously is our fridge freezer and I think it's stainless steel. If I am wrong and I make an absolute show of myself then, oh well, what's new? But still, I think this is stainless steel and if nothing else, it does kind of have sort of a sheen to it but it does show up every single finger uh. fridge. Yes. It does. And I'm going to test out with the baby oil to see if it has a nice shine to it. If not, we do actually have just like, oh, don't do it. It's not worth your life, I promise. We do just have like silvery other bits in the house, which I can test it out on as well. I don't know if it works on just like silver or does it have to be like this? In the video, your one had a fridge that looked like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see any fingerprints there. Sorry, the baby just touched the tripod. There's not too many. Again, I not long ago just cleaned the fridge. At least if I can tell the difference and explain it to you guys that it was a good hack, then you can try it again on yourself. Okay, so I put my drizzle on and let's give it a go. Oh, it definitely cleans it as well as something. Although if this comes out with a huge stain and I've just ruined my fridge freezer, I'm blaming TikTok. I'm gonna find your one, <laughs> whatever her name is, but then it's probably my fault because this probably isn't stainless steel. But I mean, so far. You probably can't tell any difference, but I can. In person, I just want to reassure you guys it's definitely, I don't know a difference, but it looks clean and definitely a shine to it. Kind of a streak free shine. I'm going to try and attempt to show you on these instead. So these are the bottoms of my bar stools. And basically I'm going to clean one of them with soapy water that I normally do and dry it off with a towel. And then I'm going to clean another one with just baby oil and not dry it or anything. And we can test to see if there's any difference. Okay, so this is just my normal cloth and soapy water. And now, normal towel, I'm just going to dry it, which is what I normally do. Okay, so not that much of a difference. So we're going to leave that one to dry while I try out this second one. So this is, again, very dirty. Uh, this one, I'm just going to use the baby oil and, again, a microfiber cloth. Okay, so that's just a quick buffer. I will say it's definitely a lot shinier. I'll try and do a side by side, if you guys can tell. Try and give you a better look. So not too bad. This is just my normal one that I use with the soapy water. So quite shiny. Obviously the scratches are just normal. They're not the newest. And then this one is with baby oil, which actually is probably a little bit less reflective, but we will give it a few minutes to dry. Okay, so okay. the soap one and this is the oil so it is it did kind of leave like a, a film to it. it even feels a bit greasy so i don't know about this one i'd say it could repel i'd say it could repel dust again i suppose i'll probably have to give you a bit more of an update afterwards but at the moment this one definitely seems more shiny than that one if you can tell it's a very slight difference i guess you have to do two things with this one and only one with that one they're both clean <laughs> But yeah, so I don't think that one was a fail necessarily. I think they both worked. I think it worked on the fridge and on the footstool. So I can't say it didn't work, it definitely did. Whether it's sort of a cleaning hack where it's easier or not, I don't know. Obviously it gives similar results for half of the effort, literally. So yeah, I'll give that one a thumbs up. I think that one worked. Okay, so then we have two more cleaning hacks to get through. Both of these take place in our bathroom. So I'm gonna move us upstairs now and I'll explain what we're doing when we get there. Okay, so firstly, I apologize for the very poor lighting. We are currently, and the sound probably, but we are in our bathroom and there is no natural daylight. It is just, there's no windows in this room. Before I get into the next hack, there was another one I was supposed to do before this one, 
but basically I can't do it I don't think and it was one where you clean your radiator so you pour water through your radiator is like with Sephora in it and everything else um, and you just put buckets underneath it to catch the water obviously and it's supposed to clean out your radiators and make everything smell really nice which sounds so intriguing and I can see the dust behind our radiators so I wanted to give that a go and I was going to until I realised we have skirting boards I feel as though the water will just go onto the skirting board rather than directly into the buckets and then if water gets on the skirting boards it'll seep behind it and it'll peel off the paint and everything else I don't know maybe I'm completely wrong and I'm overthinking it but I didn't want to chance it anyway so I'm not going to try that one but please do let me know down below in the comments if it's a thing like if you can actually do it with skirting boards or not and if you've tried it let me know like because I definitely would give it a go if I knew it was safe but only if I knew it was safe I'm not about to destroy our skirting boards just to try something so on to the next hack and basically I need to be in my bathroom for this one because if you don't know me I am only five foot one so I'm quite short and our ceilings are very tall they're up past this anyway and in our bathroom we have tiles floor to ceiling around a lot of it anyway and I can never obviously reach the ceiling and I'm not about to go and get a ladder in my bathroom because the only place I could really reach to put it put it to reach would be in the bath and that's just not a safe idea so when I saw this hack I was so intrigued I can't see how it wouldn't work neither so I'm really really happy to have seen it and found it because I'm gonna give it a go for the first time now basically you use one of these mops I suppose you could kind of use any mop I don't know but it's one of these ours is just bent folded at the moment but and this is how I'm gonna clean my walls it's actually genius I don't know why I didn't think of it some people dust with these their walls as well and actual like painted walls Again, that just scares me. I don't know why I'm scared of putting water on my walls. For the tiles, I can drench them and I can see smears all up where I could never reach. We've lived in this house now for over two years and they've driven me mad. So when I saw this TikTok, I thought, why did I not think of this before? Basically, you just fill your mop bucket with whatever you want. I'm gonna use some Sephora just because I have some. So I'm just gonna pour some of this in with hot water and I'm gonna clean the tiles up high where I've never cleaned before, admittedly. Should I admit that? Probably not. But I did and here we are so these are the tiles in question I will adjust the settings so you could probably see them properly see them but basically this is what I'm going to be doing I've explained it let's get into it okay so I hope that's a bit better it is very dark and now you can actually see what I look like so it's like but this is the tile wall behind me and you won't be able to tell just how dirty it is you probably might not even be able to tell the scuffs but I'm going to clean it right let's try this You can actually tell I've never cleaned them before, or I don't know when was the last time they were cleaned because it's picking up some sort of a greasy dust off of the top one, which is disgusting, but also that oddly satisfying feeling. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I do just have to go across the top again, but this is such a cool hack. I absolutely love this. I don't, I think obviously you could just use it on your walls anyway, like on the tile walls that you can reach. It just saves all this arm movement. People saves all this like annoying arm movement of like circular motions and trying to, the only thing is, is I don't know how well street free they'll get. At this point, I don't care, but I like this. This is quite a good hack. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Okay, so the last and final cleaning hack that we're going to be testing out in this video is another bathroom cleaning hack and basically it's not necessarily one I've seen on TikTok, although I've kind of seen it everywhere so it does count, but I've also technically done this on my channel before, I think somewhere I've tested this product, but I've tested the generic brand, now I want to test the actual real brand of product and that is the Magic Eraser. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this product, but basically, I think this is the branded one anyway. This was like six or seven euro. I have tested it on our shower. It wasn't great. So now I'm going to test it on the tiles. Uh, it basically comes in like one big lump and you've got to break off pieces yourself, which I don't like. I don't think it's very good, to be honest. The cheap one that I bought comes in like 20 sponges and this one was just one big block and the 20 sponges was a lot cheaper so I'm kind of disappointed with this so far but I do want to test it out on the tiles and give it the time of day just to make sure I have my opinions correct so I'm going to do the grout between the tiles see how well it works on these bottom few how bright we can get them and I think the idea with this is that you're just supposed to add water that's what we're going to do we're just going to wet this with some lukewarm water and try it out with the tiles 
Okay, so straight away I can see it is working, it is cleaning them. How well of a job? I don't know yet. But it is cleaning them. Okay, yeah, so same happened with the cheaper ones. Is it starts disintegrating, the sponge does. Okay, so what do you think? Could you see if I was doing anything there at all? Okay, so I suppose the jury is still out on this one. I'm not too convinced with this product here. I'll probably go back to the cheaper ones, if anything. They did work great, but you do need, do need a lot of time and elbow grease to use them. Uh, luckily, it is just add water though, so you don't have too many chemical smells or anything in the house. I suppose there is a benefit to it. I probably should be wearing gloves while I'm using it as well, let's be fair. There's obviously chemicals in the thing, so maybe just note that if you do use them to put on gloves. But yeah, guys, so I think I will leave this video here in a very echoey, poorly lit room but basically that is the end of the video i hope you did enjoy watching i hope that you found some of this useful and informative if you did enjoy then please do give this video a thumbs up down below because it helps out my channel so much and if you're not subscribed then think about subscribing too it's the big red button join our family our savage family we would like to have you come and join us thanks so much for watching guys and i will hopefully see you in my next video bye Okay, so there wasn't a huge difference in the sofa in the end. Realistically, like I said, I've seen better products for this purpose, which is a shame because it was quite a cool hack, but at least we've tried it.